does what she wants and she looks cool doing it. Hi babies, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be recreating trendy Pinterest outfits for the fall season. I thought this would be fun because I get most of my fashion inspo from Pinterest. And honestly, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. So I thought we could recreate Pinterest outfits from items that I already have in my closet. I'm just gonna pull up the photo from Pinterest and put it on the screen and then show you guys what I came up with from what is in my closet and just kind of like walk through my like thought process of it. But yeah, I think this will be fun and I think this will be good because it'll just like motivate me to start using the pieces that I already have in my closet rather than going out to just buy trendy items because um, that's like just super wasteful and unsustainable. So yeah, let's get right into it. First outfit, starting off strong. You already know I had to go with a Hailey Bieber inspired outfit. She's wearing a black blazer with what looks like a skirt underneath, no top, and then just some loafers and white socks. Probably gonna be the easiest outfit because I already have so many black items in my closet. This is what I came up with. I had a oversized black blazer that I thrifted a few weeks ago. I'm just wearing a black mini skirt from Princess Polly. And I'm wearing the Steve Madden loafers. They're identical to hers, except my loafers have that buckle detail, whereas hers are the Prada loafers. I would love to eventually get the Prada loafers, maybe in the future. I just had some black small frame sunnies that were pretty identical to hers. This is honestly the easiest outfit for me to pull out of my closet. It's very simple, very put together, and it just makes you look a lot more expensive than what you're actually wearing. So I'm obsessed. Second outfit this one is definitely going to be out of my comfort zone this is inspired by miss bella hadid i love this effortless like sporty track pants look so she's just wearing this classic adidas track pant with a black bra and it looks like she's wearing a bolero just a tote bag and so this is what i came up with i have these black adidas track pants that i thrifted a while ago very similar in style just all black the black sports bra is from aritzia it's the tna butter collection and then i'm wearing a black bolero by the brand and super down that was sent to me from revolve and then the tote bag is from set active i do have a regular cream tote bag but i couldn't find it and then i just wore my new balances because i don't have shoes like her um, but i thought the new balances were a good contrast to the all black i think this outfit is a sleigh it's very out of my comfort zone i think this outfit would be cute to run errands, to go grocery shopping, and stuff like that. So this next outfit is very fall-esque. She's just wearing these high-waisted black jeans, a cropped white t-shirt, and this cream beige blazer. And it looks like she's wearing Doc Martens as well. This one is just easy money for me. I definitely gravitate towards these pieces anyway. So this is what I came up with. I have these black high-waisted jeans from Levi's. These are the dad jean. They are the best jeans ever. Definitely worth the investment. Levi's would never go out of style. And I'm just wearing this crop tank top. It's from Aritzia. It's the TNA crop tank top. And then this beautiful cream beige blazer I thrifted a few years back and I'm just wearing my Doc Martens. I think this outfit is a sleigh. I really liked how put together you looked even with a crop tank top. And it's perfect for when it gets colder because you still have like a long sleeve jacket over top. And then on top of that, I also added a different variation of this outfit if you wanted to go for more like a trousers look. So I have these trousers from Aritzia. These are the effortless pants and then the same TNA tank top from Aritzia. And then I'm wearing this like Matilda Jerf inspired jacket. I actually thrifted this a few weeks ago. It's literally an exact dupe for the Matilda Jerf jacket, except I got it for $9. I highly recommend going thrifting for like your blazers and your outerwear and jackets like this because they always have so many of these, especially in the men's section. Next outfit, I really like this outfit because it's very cozy and very modest. And I feel like it's definitely great for when it starts to get a little bit colder. So it looks like she's just wearing a white button up and just like a V-neck black sweater, some trousers and some white shoes. So this is what I came up with. I decided to throw the sweater over top my shoulders because it just didn't fit right. And I also think my white button up is a little little too big it just looked like a little too chunky with the black sweater on top so i put it over my shoulders and i really liked how it turned out the black sweater is thrifted the pants are the effortless pants from aritzia and then i'm just wearing my doc martin i think it's really cute i think i would wear this to like a bookstore if i was like sitting down and reading or like editing youtube videos um i think it's really cozy and it was really comfortable because everything was oversized i really liked how this one turned out next look is just this like black trousers and a v-neck chunky sweater 
pretty simple. So here's what I came up with. I'm using the black effortless pants from Maurizio once again. If this doesn't convince you how versatile these effortless pants are and how much these are worth the investment, I don't know what will. If there's anything out of this video, invest in some really great trousers like the ones from Aritzia. So I didn't have an exact sweater like hers. This one is very cropped, but it's kind of the same concept, a v-neck sweater. This one is from La Academy. It was sent to me from Revolve. It is a bit of a higher price point, but I will say the quality is immaculate on this sweater. They actually just came out with one that is full size, so not cropped. I'm gonna request it to be sent to me for October so I can have a sweater that will be great for the colder months because this outfit is great for fall when it's still kind of warm out, but once it hits winter, I will not be wearing cropped sweaters outside. Um, and then instead of that black purse, I decided to pair it with this red purse. It's, it's kind of like a deep burgundy, and I thought it would be a nice contrast to the all black. I'm really trying to incorporate colors here. I am trying, trust me. So I really like this outfit. We're on our last Pinterest outfit. I had to end this one on a high note because this outfit just screams fall to me. So she's just wearing a white baby tee, a black skirt, a black leather jacket, some white socks, and some loafers. And so here's what I came up with. The black skirt is from Princess Polly. I didn't have like a white baby tee that hugged my body like how hers did, and it wasn't cropped enough to my liking. So I'm using the Aritzia tank top once again. And then I have this leather jacket. It's actually a deep brown. From far away, it does look black, but it is actually a really deep brown. I thrifted this one a few weeks ago, and then just some basic white socks and my black loafers from Steve Madden again. I'm actually really obsessed with this. The only thing is that I hate how short loafers make me look. So yeah, that's like my only complaint on this outfit, but I do definitely see myself wearing this. But yeah, that is all the outfits that I wanted to pull inspo from. I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of things in my closet. So I think I'm gonna do another one of these. Um, let me know if you guys wanna see like a part two. If you wanna check out my Pinterest, it is linked down below. I have a fall inspo board and I have an outfit specific board. And if there's anything that you're interested in, I did my best to link everything down below besides obviously the ones that were thrifted if you wanted to go check them out. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Bye.